What's up, guys? It's Parnelli X, and today we are watching, not playing, uh, one of my recent Warwick mid games on my main account. Now, um, this this is going to be a video for Warwick fans, fans of Warwick that don't really believe in the Warwick mid pick. They question it. They think it's uh, it's just you know, it's, why not go top lane? It doesn't make sense. Um, maybe you're just not a fan of it. It's not fun. It's not interesting. But this game is going to be dedicated to you because it's it's a bit of a banger. Um, a sloppy one. It's it's not a pretty game. I never, I'm not going to claim that. It's very, very ugly. Very solo queue. But in the best way possible. For, for me at least. And uh, spe special shout out to Domisum Replay for recording this game because uh this is a youtube channel that just records random random games in solo queue as we can see right here silas wants to die uh, a little bit suicidal there um echo thinks he's going to be able to you know pull off you know a, a nice easy cleanup crew a little janitor duty but we're warwick mid with barrier so we have to to spank him and let him know who's boss let him know who's daddy um, but yeah, anyways, luckily I was able to dominate some replay because it was patch day. I wasn't able to have access to this file. Um, so I was able to find it on the internet. Now we can commentate it for you guys. We're playing versus Silas, which is obviously it's, it's a, it's a melee champion in the mid lane, which this right here, by the way, was a very awkward situation, a tad bit of over aggression. I make a lot of mistakes regarding overaggression in this early game, um, which you'll see is kind of a theme. And even though it, it isn't a problem this game at all, I'm still going to point them out. You know, even even in a, my greatest games, sometimes I'll make mistakes that should, you know, that cost me other times. Like right here, we kill the Silas here and we trade one for one. And you think, you know, like, well, that's fine. You know, we're three and one, we're chilling, and we are. But there's no reason for me to trade one for one there. That that Silas was kind of bones. He had he had no way out of this lane. He would have had to have recalled, would have lost two waves. I would have forced in some jungle pressure from, from Echo. And I wouldn't have gave away my bounty. Instead, I give Silas what he wants, a one for one trade. That that's that's an even trade for the, for him. Um, and it's it just it's just not necessary. I had a really good lane states and I kind of just I didn't ruin it by any means. I just I kind of like kind of I basically instead of completely screwing this Silas over for the rest of the game um, By not giving him anything I give him a little bit of something and uh, So yeah, that's, that's just my lesson of the day and That's not gonna be the first time you see me do something like that. So I think I actually do that again very very shortly um, but this is actually my third time recording this game in the last uh, last hour. I uh, keep having recording issues. So a little bit salty about that. But I will say the gameplay is fine. It, 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 normally I'd be really upset at that. The gameplay is is great. This is this is a very fun, memorable game. So I'd say you know a third time's a charm. Love to see it. Right here. We're going to cancel the Silas's recall uh, because this dude's oom. Um, this dude has no mana. He's slapping me in the face with silverware at this point. And if Echo comes to try to gank me, I'm level six, and his Silas can't even really help him. So I, I basically can just kind of do whatever I want. Right here. Like I've, they have zero kill threats, and because of that, I. I, I, I kind of want to play aggressive and kill the Silas here and, and I get a nice combo here and kill him But I knew that echo was in his Raptors and I still went for this and again I just end up trading one for one when Silas was mm, this dude like literally couldn't lane. He couldn't even last hits really So that was just another another perfect example of where like you got to have discipline in this game like you gotta You gotta know when to hold up you can't just it's not a game about kills. It's about leveraging leads and building leads and suffocating your opponents and, and preventing them from ever having a chance. 
Um, and I like to limit test a lot. So I like to I like to play aggressive. I'm a very aggressive player. Two of fault. And that right there is default. Um, now, luckily, again, I, I'm still very strong. But it doesn't mean that... It, because I'm still strong in the Silas doesn't mean it's a bad play. I kind of give them an opportunity to come back because I'm, I'm playing like this. Now, luckily, Trundle makes a really good gank here on the Silas after he burns his E. Dude's useless. Um... So yeah, that's not, that's good to see. You'll see me actually do this a lot as uh, you know on Warwick in mid lane and top lane, where I'll just like take like four turret shots just to grab a plate or to harass my opponents. And that's because if I'm ahead, I know that I can just absorb all that damage and heal heal it back up off the wave. Don't try it when you're behind, but when you're ahead, you can go for that because you're Warwick. Awkward situation here. Silas gets a taste, gets, gets a taste of, well, my, my own medicine? I don't think it's the, the word I'm really looking for here, but he ends up trying to steal my ultimate. There's a, there's a Silas bug where, if, where if Silas steals Warwick ultimate and casts his ult immediately afterwards, the ult goes backwards. It's very funny when it happens and I don't feel remorse because even though it's tragic, it's very on theme that when Silas steals Warwick's ultimate ability, he also steals his steals bugs along with it. You know, there's no pity because I I deal with with BS like that on a daily. Now, I mean, to be fair, it's not that wasn't actually a Warwick bug. That's a Silas bug, but you know, he, he that's one that's one Silas bug for for my ten Warwick bugs. Is all I'll say. We get our Titanic Hydra. Now, Titan and Hydra rush in the mid lane is absolutely mandatory, I would say. I've tried against uh I've tried against melee champions to go like Triforce and stuff just to have more damage and snowball a little bit harder. And it can work. Um even items like Bork can work as well. I don't think it's it's ever optimal though. And the reason why is because I think that there's just so much versatility that titanic hydra gives you it's just strong in every way um for example if you go trinity force in the mid lane because you, you know you think you have a lead but then you start start getting camps by the enemy jungle and the enemy support and you're not strong enough to 1v2 or 1v3 then you are getting pushed in the mid lane and you can't really utilize your triforce and now you feel kind of weak and you really wish that you just had the wave clear with Titanic Hydra, it just gives you a little bit of everything. It gives you tankiness against ganks, so you don't die to ganks. It gives you damage. It gives you poke. It gives you wave clear. I always talk about Titanic Hydra every time I play mid lane Warwick, but it really is just like, it's everything for him. And that's why you want to rush it, because it just, it just gives you complete prio over the entire mid game. Right here is a crazy situation. Able to get our ult off, um, and now they basically have nothing going for them. That's a, that 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 was actually kind of like a, a good showcase of patience. I actually showed some discipline there uh, because Echo was casting his W, Thresh was casting his Q and his E, and just trying to defend against the turret dive. And if I just if I just tur turret dove, it would I would have died. This right here was very cheeky of me. Very very cheeky. This uh, Silas, this poor guy, two and six, 40 CS. Finally gets to see a wave that looks like he can actually farm for free. And, um, and, I, and I use that against him. This game is all about mental edge. And you want to really... You want, you want to... It's really a game about... you like, like thinking about what the enemy wants. It's not about thinking what your teammates want, wants, but it's also about thinking about what your enemies are wanting and what they're thinking. And what, what Silas is thinking in that situation is, I have not been able to breathe this entire game. Finally, I have an opening. Um, and I'm going to take it. Like, there's no way the dude's going to play safe in that situation. Now, granted, he hasn't been playing safe all game, but he's especially not going to play safe there. So it's just a free kill every single time. If I'm able to sneak in the bush right that, like that. Um, Trino comes in with a gank. We're able to burn out the lead alts. And the reason why we're still top lane here is just kind of just due to convenience. I was top lane. I was pushing out the waves um, when Camille responded. Like, there's no reason for me to 
really go back mid at the moment because I can just bully this cut anyways. And um, that's basically kind of what I want to do. Like Silas isn't that useful at this point. I want to just go show this Kled who's boss. So we're just slowly whittling, slowly whittling him down the best we can. Kind of give him too many stacks here, unfortunately, but it's okay. And Trino just took the Rift Herald, so he's going to come around at the flank. And we're going to see if we're able to tower dive. We're not really a tower dive. We're going to try to kill this turret with the Rift Herald and then go in and, and collapse on him. And that's exactly what we do. Run at him. Tenth kill of the game. Ten, three, and one. We got 11 KP 12 minutes in. Love to see it. We're only up 1,000 gold. I'm, I'm 10 and 3 and we're only up 1,000 gold. My teammates are kind of all behind across the board. But this is a Warwick carry game. This, the, if there ever was a game for work to carry, by the way, it would be this. I mean, Vayne, Thresh, Silas, Echo, Kled. All of these champions are honestly really good for work to play verse. Champions like Vayne can be annoying if they have peel, but she doesn't have proper peel this game because her, her peel is Thresh, and I cook Thresh because my Q just goes through all of the spells. Um, similarly, like, well, I guess not really similarly, but Echo is only really annoying if he's just really fed. And he is kind of fed this game, but I'm also fed. So it works out. And then the rest of the champions don't really do anything. They just, they dive into me. And if they're not fed, then they're just going to just completely end. Uh, we w walk bot lane here and we're trying to see if, again, we're, 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 we're trying to abuse what the enemy wants. I'm hoping that Vayne is seeing my teammates in our mid lane. She's thinking I was just top lane, so she isn't even really, really isn't even really thinking about Warwick. So I was hoping that she'd step up and try to clear out the wave. She doesn't. Plays it smart. So we just clear out this wave. And we're going to start just pressuring this turret. We got our demolish proc. We have Triforce as well, so we can just press E twice to proc Triforce twice. And kind of do huge damage to this turret. And now watch this watch this damage versus Vayne. Q. Third of her health. Ultimate. Just ends her. I Q out there to... I Q the minion to dash away to avoid the stun against the echo. It's a neat little... A nifty mechanic, if you will. And now we're just going to flash Q. Solidify the triple kill. We, we, get a, we get a bounty because we needed the gold. We needed it. And at this point, we're just eating up every single resource that we can. We see a minion wave... We eat it. We see jungle mobs. We eat it. Champions. I mean, it goes without saying. Turrets, we take them. And when you're pl when you're playing, regardless of the champion you're playing, when you are ahead, say you're up like one item on your opponents. I'm up a little bit more this game, obviously, but if you're up one item over your lane opponents at like 15 minutes, um. With just how snowball the game is, you want to get an exp exponential lead off of it. You don't want to be up one item at 30 minutes then. You want to be up two items then at that point. Because you want to leverage your lead. And like look at this gold look at this gold gap in the mid lane. Eleven thousand gold. Over eleven thousand gold Warwick versus four thousand five hundred gold on, on Silas. Crazy gold gap. Crazy gold gap. And and because we're so strong at the moment. When we recall, we grab our Guardian Angel. I love Guardian Angel for situations like this, where we're really hard to kill. Uh, we're really, really strong. And we have a big bounty on our head. Um, yeah, not only do they have to kill me twice, which is going to be nearly impossible for them. They're, they're struggling to kill me once. The Guardian Angel just means that they basically just aren't going to be able to kill me at all. The, the main win condition that the enemy team has at this point is to get my bounty. Um, they, to try to cheese me or hope that I overextend and, and throw, which is something that I do do sometimes. And this Garden Angel just means that I, I don't end up throwing. Um, and it, it's just going to be really impossible. I'm basically, I basically locked this 1,000 gold bounty out of them. They don't have access to, to this 1,000 gold bounty. So they're kind of in like, like that's, that's just like a big part of making comebacks in league. 
is the shutdowns. So if you can take that away, that's that's uh that's always good. I'm gonna shove uh yeah, shove out top lane here because everyone went bots. We're gonna go for the Krugs and then look to probably just do some do some damage to the turret here. Because everyone was bot lane here, I know that no one is here to like contest or attack me, so I just try to try to do a little bit of damage. And now I feel like people are kind of coming potentially, so I'm gonna have to walk away. I also have my alt up. So we just waddle back. I think we can just recall here now. I actually can't really remember. Oh no, I don't recall. I just had mid lane because I, I see that we have dragon spawning and I want to group with my team. I can just kind of tell that something's going to happen. They engage in my jinx. Um, so we just kind of walk over and kill this Echo who just falls completely on our lap. And now we're, we're in a bit of a standoff here in the mid lane, which is kind of awkward of an ARAM because we're playing all like a bunch of like melee divers. And really divers, just melee champions. Um, but we all go in. I ult the Vayne because she's the main threat. And I just take like a ton of damage from I have no clue what did damage to me there. This is this is a not looking too hot. But we're able to kill the Silas, get a fear off. Alistar pulls off a nice combo. And this is the power of GA. They killed me once. Now they have to kill me again. And that is tough. I Q the, the Thresh Hook. We queue through the Thresh here to secure the kill in the vein with the Titanic Hydra. My, one of my favorite ways to kill people in the game, by the way. And then we auto attack the minion to do it again. We do it twice. I don't think I've ever done that twice in a row like that, but it, it, it gets me hyped up. I'm really feeling it now. It's not even the Q cancel on the Thresh. It's not even the, the fact that I have 18 kills. It's, it's the double Titanic Hydra. Yeah. You love to see it. Now Echo is trying some shenanigans here, and this is making me a little bit nervous right here. If there's ever a time for me to give away my bounty, it'd be now. But we're not. We're not giving it away. We Our ultimate comes up just in time. We sidestep the Silas E. Pull off the clutchness. And now we're just going to go ahead and clear out this, min, uh, this mid wave. And probably just recall. I don't know how much gold I have. It's probably a lot at this point. Uh, 3.5k gold. I have fi almost 15,000 gold. The, the Silas has 5,500 gold. Oof. That's a tough one. Uh, we got we got the mall pickup. We got the the chain vest. When when everyone everyone else in this game is recalling, they're picking up a pickaxe. They're picking up a a bramble vest. I'm picking up a I'm picking up an one and a half items every time I recall. At this point, we're almost full build, and it's not even 20 minutes in the game. So we're going to go straight to the action. Trundle's on the objectives. I'm not an objective guy. My objective... My my objective is is a... A Yordle on a donkey. And a... Uh, you know, some, 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 some dude who, who bends time. That's my objective. Clear out the wave. We're thinking... I think we're thinking Baron here. I got 20 kills. They got two people that are dead, including their junglers. This should be a Baron angle. Oh yeah, I think I remember. I think my tr my my jungler was just like inting here. I have no clue what this man was on. This was a like if you want to win the game, you just do Baron here. But he's I don't know. I have no clue what happens. Silas did something really kind of weird there. I'm not sure what happens there, but we'll take it. Like I said, not gonna be. I said it wasn't gonna be a clean game. Very solo. Queue. Very solo queue. Echo, I mean, once again, not very solo cues. Echo just fat fingers to Zonius. And right here, I do something interesting. I flash away to disengage their main abilities. And now they have nothing left. They have nothing left. We we do a, def a defensive flash to open up an offensive opportunity. If I flash out there, they have no way of fighting back and they're just not going to get away. That's something that I do a lot, and in team fights, it can like. I think that's something that's like something or a concept that's like really huge in team fights sometimes, especially as someone like Warwick who baits a lot. Is being able to just flash out and get enemies to overcommit, overstep, and use key abilities. 
can be like literally can literally just win team fights and can win games for you. And right there, I, I pulled off really well. And, and they're definitely gonna go for me there. Um now obviously like everyone in the game ha you know has access to flash. It's not uncommon, but people still forget that oh shit, this dude has flash. Um and especially when I have when I'm this strong, they're gonna they're gonna go for me when when they they think they have an opportunity, right? So but we're on the Baron now, and I'm just gonna try to bully this Echo so we don't lose Baron. I don't want I don't want to 50-50 this. I just want to kind of go in and try to fight people. I do gotta be careful. I have no GA, so I'm trying to kind of create some space here. This is kind of awkward, but I'm just I'm so tanky. For, I'm, I'm tanky for absolutely no reason at all. Well, the reason the reason is pretty clear actually. I have a ton of kills, but way tankier than I honestly even thought. This mall, by the way, is a very clutch buy this game because they only really have two people who can deal damage to me, and that is Echo and Vayne. I can't really build anything versus Vayne because it's Vayne. I just have to kill her. So she's going to be my first target in fights if, if I can or if I had a choice. Um, but the, the mall just makes sure that Echo can't do anything versus me. So, yeah, like I'm just I'm literally unkillable. My GA is also coming up, and, and now I... I'm Thanos with my Infinity Gauntlet, all of the Infinity Stones. I got Dead Man's Plate last item because I don't need stats. I usually don't build Dead Man's a lot on Warwick because I like stats, but you know, I, I'm just so strong right now. I just need the movement speed. 23 minutes in the game and I'm in full build. I even got the Elixir as well. Not even, not even a cheap build, by the way. I have some expensive items here as well. And we're able to spam E a ton. What works E ability is such an underrated ability in team fights, especially when you get ahead and have a lot of CDR. It's like it, it makes you so absurdly tanky, especially when combined with your lifesteal. It's ridiculous. We got 29 kills. We all in. We secure number 30. We're 33 and 5. Less than 24 minutes into the game. Less than 24 minutes in the game, we drop a 30 bomb. On the Warwick mid lane, the enemy team, they had enough. They FF. And if you weren't a believer in the Warwick mid before, you know, tell me. What about now?